The summer break is over and the International GT Open season continues here at Silverstone. There are just six races to go, two of which here around the home of the British Grand Prix. It's Mikel Mack who leads the championship. However, he is being chased hard by Andres Saravia and Fran Rueda in the Teo Marshall Motorsport BMW. That said, the Lusit Racing Ferrari driver has won three times already this year. Can he get back onto the top step of the rostrum? Let's have a look at the very best of the action from the weekend. It was Daniel Serra who led the way into Cop's corner for the first time ahead of Rick Broikers. Behind Fran Ray, the fighting position with Giovanni Venturini. Midway through the first lap, a moment for Alex West over the sausage curbs and the rotation for the Lusit Racing Ferrari. Also, contact for Valentin Pierberg, necessitating a pit stop in the SPS Automotive Mercedes. While some very close racing all afternoon in the AM class. Chetan Spirit Racing Car, ARC front the slow red tree. Next to be Motorsport Car all together. Post pit stops though, it was Marco Ciocci emerged in the lead as Giuseppe Sucrani had a huge spin, which somehow everybody around him avoided. Meanwhile, Alex Frassinetti was spectacular, as was Daniele Diamato, the pair of them joint superb scrap. Late on, Jerome Bolt was closing up on to Marco Ciocci as Diamato and Sinetti continued their charge up through the field. Semi Zidrani, however, having a busy afternoon, another spin, forcing Alan Kader into emergency evasive action. At the Limo, Ciocci held off Jerome Moult by just four tenths of a second. It was the second win of the season for Marco Ciocci. Daniel Serra, Jerome Moult, Giovanni Venturini second from Saravia. Rueda completing the podium, bringing the championship fight all that little bit closer. From outside, it didn't look like so tough, so hard, but it was uh, really hard. I knew that the uh, Lambo has uh, better speed than us, so I need to do the first and second corner really fast to put a gap. And then I was pushing, like qualifying every lap. Uh, we did a good job in the pit stop, and Marco just uh, finished the job with awesome stints. And Marco, you had to sweat a little bit at the end. Huh? Yeah, a little bit. I'm still with some uh, Mirto from Sardinia, I guess. But, uh, no, Lamborghini did a great job, be very consistent and uh, I was under pressure because I cannot ruin the job made from my teammate. Did an amazing job, quali, race one uh, and everything uh, and we really want to score more points as possible for the team, uh, for the Luzic Racing, for Ferrari, for ourselves, for our teammate. So we will be hard to die. So as the lights went out, it was Onslo Cole who leapt into the early advantage ahead of Alain Kader and Fabrizio Cristani as the field swept through Cop's corner for the first time. It was very busy, a little bit lower down the order as Marco Ciocci was busy battling for room alongside Darren Burke. But Onslo Cole with clear track in front of him was able to try and break clear of the fields in the background. Jetong Liang having a huge spin out of Chapel Curve. Marco Ciocci and David Perel enjoyed a good scrap in their Ferraris as Alex Frassinetti was also able to move clear of Andres Saravia in the early stages. Ollie Wilkinson, Julio Borlenghi getting a little bit too close for comfort as the pair of them made contact through Luffield. Post pit stops, Daniel Serra was busy charging up through the order, although it was a little bit too close for comfort with Ricardo Baptista. That thump cost him Baptista a penalty. Lockie, another driver, had his work cut out in the second half of the race as Fran Rader was able to overhaul him. Meanwhile, coming together between Lorenzo Bear out of Viega and Renat Salakov, pitching Bear out of Viega out of the race. So it was a lights to flag win for Valentin Pierberg and Thomas Locol and the SPS Automotive team with Giovanni Venturini and Jerome Moult finishing as runners up ahead of Damiano Fiorvranti and Alex Frassinetti. for the SPS Automotive team to celebrate as the championship fight coming together very well, which is four races to go.
It was very comfortable. Like I wish it was. Uh, it was all like this. You know, at my home race, I've got a lot of friends and family and uh, and sponsors uh, here, and uh, I made it not look like so much of a challenge. You know, I tell them throughout the year how hard uh, it is, but I really have to put this down to SPS. You know, the car we had today was really faultless. It was so so fast, and uh, we used that to get a good advantage in in the first stint. Good. And Valentin's second stint was uh, tough, but uh, everything under control. It was tough. I was pushing as hard as I could. And, uh, you know, after yesterday, we had an unlucky day. Got a, got a hit, and uh, I feel great now that we made first place. And I'm extremely grateful for the team, and we had a supercar. Thank you to the engineers. Amazing.